And welcome to another episode of Kentucky Brew Review. I'm Steel Reserve. I'm Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. And tonight we are reviewing Red's Wicked Mango... Is this an ale? Uh, it just says Red's Wicked Hard Ale, yes. Oh, Hard Ale, Hard Ale. Yeah. Makes it, it's hard. Like a good Hard Ale. Uh, this is 8% alcohol by volume, which is very... Probably why it's called Hard at Hard Ale, given that normal Red's is what? And what normal Red's is a 5. Yeah. The so. Wicked's are 8. I didn't care for the Wicked Apple. We did that yeah. a while back. Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, this one it is... Tastes uh, like artificial. This really? one is relatively it's new on the market. Yeah. I've, I've been seeing... They've been branching out for their fruits. Like, uh, I think the red, the apple and the strawberry was a good start for them, and I'm glad to see that they're expanding into green apple and mango. Now. Oh, uh, I know we haven't done the green apple on the show, but I've had it outside of the show, and it tastes delicious. Yeah, um, I like regular reds, apple ale, oh, yeah, but I'm not a fan of any of their spinoffs at all. Really? You yeah. know, I prefer the uh, strawberry one. I don't like the strawberry one that much. Yeah. The strawberry, I, I, I thought the strawberry had a bit more of an artificial taste, but... Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, smell. Ooh, I like this. It's appley, but the mango isn't overpowering in this, mm -hmm. which is nice. It does have a nice it, aroma. It's now uh, it smells mine's more not peachy, bubbly. Now you've got the bubbles, but I've yeah, got dude. I've got a decent amount of bubble cream. Those too. were the first two I poured. So. Yeah, so probably I'm gonna say medium carbonation on this. Probably oh, definitely. Most reds have always been about that. Um, but yeah, it smells pleasant. Mm -hmm. Um. I said, I'm picking up a like a peach scent more so. I can see mango. that peaches and mango, you can they're similar in smell, yeah. but I can see you going either way. Yeah, but, I'm not a huge mango fan. But then it's it's right. artificial, so it's you know. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's just like let's toss it into into. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hey. It's a little mm. sweet, but it's flavors on par. Mm -hmm. It's yeah again. I'm getting more peach than mango. It's pungent. It's, it's a pungent it, yeah, it's, it towards yeah. the end. It's very pungent. But it finishes smooth. I'll give it that. You get the uh, mango taste off the bat. It's light. And then it just tastes like a regular wicket. It's really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. And then it's got a, like, a pungent taste towards the end. And then it just kind of wraps up. And it's sti sticky. Yeah. It doesn't come out finished clean. Well, that's good. No, it's not bad at all. It's a lot better than, I like it better than the regular. Oh, yeah. The regular Wicked, not the regular yeah. Reds. Mm. Um, it's nice because, like I said, that mango is not overpowering. Mm. Which is something you find a lot in mango flavored stuff. Because mm -hmm. it's, well, one, it's such a sweet fruit init uh, initially, and then anything mango flavored, it's usually real overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Steel, what do you uh, think of that? Um, yeah, that's good. I like it better than the regular Reds Wicked apple, you know. Um, I'm gonna give this a six, and if you're you know a fan of reds, I'd say go ahead and pick yourself up with a can of this. Um, I'm gonna give it a six as well. Um, I would have to recommend it as well. It's it's a one. It's since they sell them in 24 ounce cans, I I'd recommend it as a pickup. I wouldn't go buy a 12 pack of it or something, but it's worth trying at least once. Keep in mind it is very sweet and you could probably only drink one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but one of them would probably get you a decent buzz going. I mean, with that 8% alcohol by wine. Yeah. So yeah, I'd recommend it. So what do you think, Fuzzy? Uh, I'm going to go a step higher and probably go about a 7 here. I mean, I've been a big fan of everything that Reds has done since they first started releasing beers. And I feel like this is just another step in the right direction to where they need to be going. Because they're a relatively new brand. Yeah, yeah, and what they're only like two years old. Yeah, I think that isn't uh, Miller owns them, though, don't they? I'm not sure. I'd have to check the can uh, for future episodes. We'll, um, but I know Johnny Appleseed's owned by. No, they are their own brewing company. Well, a lot of Miller has subsidiaries, so no, it looks true. like it's their own brewing company. Yeah. Well, I'm sure somebody will comment us down below and let us know. But yeah, um, if you got the answer, let us know. You know, we don't like to research before or, we do our videos. Or, you know, we'll, uh, we'll research this and we'll, we'll put it, like, right there in editing. I we'll might do that. Won't do that. It depends. My computer's crapped out right now, so editing's difficult. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, as always, we thank you guys for watching. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And I'm Fuzzy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.